today let's start with chapter number 7 introduction to krita in this chapter you will study about what is krita and how to start up krita creating the new file up in this in how we create the new file section tool features of krita what are its features components adding an image is it appropriate in which app add a video if you want to add an image then how will we add that image and editing tool and how will we will add the now name any two four editing software other than krita you have to name any two four for editing software other than krita now what is krita 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 kya hai krita it is a photo editing software and the photo editing software simple looking pictures can be enhanced to what extent it look as it captured by a expert photographer what it is it is a photo editing software it is a software in which you can edit the photo and it looks like that it is added by an expert photographer now the word krita comes from swedish language when kri means crayons and rita means to draw rita is in uh, krita is an open source software designed for digital drawing photo editing and 2d animation what it is it is an open source software where you can design 2d images you can do drawing you also can do photo editing okay it has come from the Spanish Swedish word which kri means crayon and vita means to draw means drawing with crayons. Now memory booster because of Krita software source code is written in. Now the Krita the software source code it is written in triple C as it runs on window and Unix based operating system. It is also used in creating digital artwork. Like there are many brushes present. What sort of brushes present here? Krita and like airbrush, fairy tip and more. These are the brush which are present here. Now next in what are the features? Its features. Now let's study about the feature. Some of the popular features of Krita are. It is an open source software, which means Krita software code is available for public communication. What it is? It is an open source software. So here uh, means that the software is available for public communication. You can download Krita for free from its official website, Krita dot. A Krita dot org website. From here you can download it for free. Next is the user interface. The user interface of Krita is easy to understand and use. It consists of menu buttons and panels. Here it has many buttons and panels, and it is used for for what it is used. It is used for interface to easy to understand. This app easily so kya kar sako understand kar sako you may use it easy. Now Krita interface consists of different panels. If there are different panels that can be dogged anywhere on the screen. This helps you to change the layout of the screen. What you can do, you can change the layout of of the screen according to your choice, which one you want to add. Brushes are the most important tools in drawing, and Krita there are total of hundred different brush colors that will give you amazing drawing experience. These brushes used to give different effects to the drawing. Here, you there are thousands of brushes what you can use for drawing. Okay, and these brushes give the different effects to the drawing. The different effects they got in drawing. Krita has a great feature and the brush stabilizer. It is used to enhance smoothness in the brush. Stroke. What it do? It enhances the brush strokes. The brush strokes have which can be done enhance Krita. Now it is a huge building gallery of vectors that can be used for drawing cosmic shapes. It is used for drawing cosmic strip. Now starting Krita. Now we have to start the Krita, and how we will do that? First of all, click on the start button. You will go to the start button, which lies to the left corner of your screen, and then scroll the list of find find Krita, or then you have to click on it. Then you have to scroll. And see where is Krita, and then there, what you will do, you will click on it. Next is in search box, type Krita, and then click on the Krita option. First, you have to type Krita, and then you have to write on Krita option. 
Next is what are the components? Let's study about its components. First is your menu bar. Menu bar, it is the topmost horizontal bar that contains all menus such as file, edit view, layer, filter to all where it lies, it lies at the top of your horizontal bar. This is known as menu bar. This is menu bar. Next is your option bar. Option bar controls panel that lies below the menu bar. It displays the option related to currently selected tool you are working on. Option bar, it is a panel which is below your menu bar. There is a where there it tells us about the current yes, be aapke currently selected tools. Hai, uske mein wo aapko bata. Next is workspace. If you create a document in Prita, you see a white rectangular area called workspace. It is the area that will display images file that you want to edit. What is workspace? It is a blank area where you create a file. Okay? It is an area where you see your drawing, where you want to do it, add it. it. Okay? The name of the image file appears with a tab at the top of the workspace. Workspace is also known as canvas. Workspace it is also known as canvas. Now panel. On the right side of Krita window, there is a separate area of the panel. What is the Separate area hai panels. Ka. And Krita offers various panels that can either be grouped, stand or dock. Panels can be placed anywhere on the screen. Aap kahi bhi kisi bhi screen pa usko place kar sakte ho. And a panel that can move from one place to another. Usko on kya gata hai? That's called floating panel or up the box. Take it a panel kya kanta hai? Kya se dosi place move karta hai? Usko kya kaha jata hai? It is known as floating panel or docker. Now toolbox. To, to default toolbox docker appears on the left side. Where it appears, it appears to the left side of the Krita window. It contains most commonly used tools. You can decide and move it as you desire. Aap isko kya kar sakte You can resize it, you can move it as you desire. Now what we have to do, we have to create a new file. For creating new file, what you will do? Open Krita and create a new image file by selecting File, New Option. This will open Create New Document in the Create Krita dialog. Aap Krita Dialogs box mein jayenge, no, aap aapko new pe ja ke aapko document, new or document option milega. Uske ja ke aap kya parogu, new document create. Specify the details like name, width, height, orientation and results. You have to go, you have to Specify the name, what its width is, what is height, what its resolution is, and what its are on it. After adding required details, after you have added the required details, mm -hmm. after adding the required details, click on the create button. The window with blank canvas will appear. The window here with the blank canvas it will appear. Now. Now we want to add an image and how we will add an image in this. Now there are some steps. Click on the open option in the file menu. You will click on the open option in the file menu. We will go to file menu. And this will open the image. What it will open? It will open the images dialog box. And select the image you want to insert. Now you have to select the image. The image that you want to insert. The image will be added in the workspace area. A job key image height will be added in the workspace it. Now, once the image is added, you can add it using various tools available in the toolbox. Jesse hi up key image hap add jayi, then you can use different tools that by and then you can add it your images as you want to add it. Now Let's learn about selection and editing. Now, tools in Krita, which you can bring a lot of transformation. Now, selection or editing tool ke mein padhe ke, by which you can do so many transformation in your image. Now, selection tool. What are selection tools? 
the selection tool comes in handy when you want to alter a section of the image or paint without effect the completing. This can be done using variety of selection tool available in Pisa. After selecting an area of the image, you can make changes that you want in the selected. You can change changes in the selected area. Mein changes Next is rectangular selection tool. If you are using rectangular selection tool, then how it is used to select the image or a part of rectangle. So there are some steps like select the rectangle selection tool from the toolbox. Place the cursor on the image, click and hold the left mouse button, then drag out a man to a select required part of it. But it not be selected required part of it, you can drag it by clicking on the left mouse button. And where you want to add it, you can leave it there. Next, select the selection tool from the toolbox. They have selected a part of area with a square, square line on it. It's to select the and now they want to add it this much in it. So, it's part to add it. Next is Allopathical Selection Tool. What is Allopathical Selection Tool? That allows you to select Allopathical, that means the circular area, then oval area. Select the Allopathical Selection Tool from the toolbox. Drag with the left mouse button on the image. You can observe an Allopathical dash border around the image. You will see a dash border in the image. You are seeing it, it's drawn here. This is the market area, it is like dotted. This is the market area. Okay? Next is Next is Outline Selection Tool. It works as a freehand selection tool. It is useful when you are working with the portion of image that has a desired curve. If you work on the image, you are working on the image. If you work on the image, you are working on the curves. Now, first you will open the image and then you will click on Outline Selection Tool. Then next you will press the left mouse button and drag it. Drag out. आप drag out करोगे around the image जो भी आपको select करना है, then release the mouse at the end and you will notice selection as shown in the picture like this. It is shown here. ऐसे ही आपको selection यहाँ पे show होगा. Next is similar color selection too. Now आपको जो similar color है मैं जो stay वो select हो जाएंगे. How? Now follow the steps given for you. Open an image, click on the similar selection too. Same you have to do, you have to click on left mouse button. You have to point the image and drag it, click on any point of the color in the image. Observe that all objects with similar color will be automatically selected. Look, just the color you will select, the object with similar color will be selected automatically. वो अपने आप देखो select हो जाएगा. कृतफ next is editing tool. What is editing tool? कृतफ photo editing tool जो होता है, they are used for retouching and editing image to make them look attractive and appealing. कृतफ provides various photo editing tool which are as for now, what is this? It is the technique from where you can retouch or edit the image according to your. जैसे ही आपको जिस तरीके से आपको उसको edit करना है, according to your attractiveness या appealingness, जैसे भी आप उसको चाहते हैं, आप उसको edit कर सकते हैं। ये आपको various editing tool provides करती है। Now, one by one, I will tell you about all the tools. Like first is crop tool. Crop tool is used to select a specific area that you focus on and to remove unwanted part. You have to focus on the specific area, what unwanted part you want to remove, then you can remove by using crop tool. Next is, uh, there are some steps to follow. Open an image and click on crop tool. Now same, you have to hold left mouse button and drag to the picture which part you want to select. Next is the selected part of an image within your selection of one cropping area. Jidna bhi aapne select karai, the area ko kya kaha jata, it is known as cropping area.
So finish the cropping process. Double click inside the selection or press the editor key. Observe that only selected portion of image will be left. You have to observe that the selected portion of the image that will only be left. Now gradient tool. It will allow you to fill that area with range of colors. In our specified pattern, it creates blacks of poor more color. Yeah, pe aapko do ya do se zada colors ki blacks bhi milenge, and it helps you to fill the color in a specific area. Now, let's see the now what are the steps of gradient effect? You have to open that image. Then you have to go to outline tool and use the tool select a portion of image you as shown in the figure. You have to select the image as shown in the figure. Then next the, select the gradient tool from the toolbox to select gradient of your choice click on gradient. If you have to choose the choice of gradient choose karna, then what you will do you will go to gradient button and then choose as you want to choose. After selecting the gradient, press the left mouse button and drag the gradient within the selected area. Release the mouse button once the area has been marked. You have to release the mouse button once the area has been marked. Next is Smart Patch Tool. What is Smart Patch Tool? It is used to remove unwanted object from an image. This tool lets you to remove anything you want from an image by simple drawing. Aap simple drawing karke, jo bhi chijay aap select karna jate hai, aap select kar sakte hai, or simply is ko remove. Now first step is select smart patch tool from the toolbox. Press left about button. And start to drag on the object. Na drag karo on the object you want to remove. Jo bhi aap wala karna hai, remove. Once finished, raise the mouse button. Observe that object is removed from the picture. Or you have observe that the object is removed from the picture. Next is your clone tool. It is used for cloning one area of an image and copying it. Somewhere else, this tool can be used to respond the object from one layer to another. You can also create patterns from this object. What you can do, if you want to create any pattern, you can create that through these objects. Next is Chrome tool. Chrome tool is in Kripa, is available as a brush. To use Chrome tool, you have to click on the brush pattern. And then you can scroll Chrome tool brush as shown in the picture. Step 1 is once the clone brush tool is selected, the cursor will look like as shown in the figure. Okay, the cursor as shown in the figure. Now press the control key and click the cursor on the object you want to copy. Jobia object you copy. Now click at the place where you want to make a copy of the image. And then what you will do? You will move the mouse. You the mouse move. Move. That will draw the object. Will for you and why the cursor copy the object? If you the image draw the cursor, what will you Copy it. You will not copy. As you will copy the image. Copy. Now, our chapter has been completed. Hope you have understood the chapter. That's all for today. Thank you.